Hi, I'm Elizabeth Townsend Gard um, from Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School. Today we have a video, a video, um, and we're doing a sew along, a sew along where Gigi Bai will be leading us through Jen Kingwell's The Gypsy Wife Quilt, which is awesome. Um, so these are videos that Gigi will produce um, and help us understand how to do it. And Corey Dutton, um, a law student, is going to learn to quilt. So um, it's for beginners, advanced people, even law students. Um, and it will be great. So uh, I hope this helps. So where do you find the pattern? Um, Jen Kinkwell's pattern can be found at Amazon. It's again called the Gypsy Wife Quilt. It's super popular. You can also get it at Uptown Needle and Craftworks here in New Orleans. Just um, look them up online and call them or at any quilt shop. So get the pattern and join us. All right, section eight continued. We are ready for the star block. It's gonna be a little bit larger than some of the others, um, measuring out um, to be 9.5 or nine and a half inches done um, before you sew it into the quilt. So finished, it will be nine inches. Um, we have to have four fabrics, and um, and it gives you all the instructions for cutting them on page 11. So these are the four fabrics I've chosen. I'm hoping to do the darker one um, to really make the other things pop out. I may change out one of these two because they're very similar. And then we'll get started with, um, it looks like we have quite a few half square triangles and some um, yeah, half square triangles and that will end up looking like hourglasses, very similar to what we did in our heart, um, from the heart block. So we just have to be careful with how we place them. I recommend pinning so that when you put them together, you end up with all the pieces in the right place. It's very important to follow CC, DD go together, and then CC and BB go together. So we need to be real careful in that regard. Um, and I think that's all for now. Let's go get cutting. Okay, for the first part of putting together our star block, we need to take our fabrics BB, and you only needed to cut these two triangles for that, my darker ones, and then CC, two of the triangles for that. And then when you go to put them together, it's important to lay them out so you can see what's going to happen, and even pin it so that you remember where you want to sew so that you don't end up sewing it incorrectly. We want this one along this line, and then we'll sew these two along this line. And then when we open them back up again, we can put them together, and we'll have the center of our star block. So we'll pin it here and here. I might put two on this one. Make sure I keep them straight. And I'll come right over to my machine and get them sewn up on the correct sides, then I'll sew them all together and the center will be done. Okay, so we're finished with making the center block with our BB and CC. Now they want us to do the same thing um, with our CC and DD fabrics cut into the triangles. So again, lay them out so that you can see where they're gonna be and we can always rotate them based on how they go into the quilt block, but for right now, just lay them out so that you can make sure you're putting them together correctly. Um, and then I just want to do a quick little commercial for this fabulous pair of hobble snippets that um, I got. They work so well, and they're great at snipping out. If you've um, made a mistake, which sometimes happens. Um, they, they're great at getting little tiny stitches out, but they're also just really quick and easy snippets for when you need to cut threads off. So if you ever have a chance to get a pair of these, they're by Hobble, and they just, I don't know if you can see that, they just bounce back each time. And then when I'm not using them, I have a little stopper that I put at the end like that to keep them from poking through anything because they're very sharp. That's Hobble. Okay. A couple more things. Um, when you go to sew, you don't want to start at your point necessarily up here. You want to start where it, it does shape that the bottom of the L right there. It's easier to feed into. A lot of times when you try and go from this angle, it um, that little point just goes down inside your little throat plate. So that's just a simple thing. And then when you lay it down, you want to um, iron each one 
to the dark side or and then that will make it opposite sides. So if I iron it both here and here, so that way when I go to lay them on top of each other, I'll be able to nestle those points or the seams together and they just fit like Lego pieces right on top of each other. Just like that, I'll press it like that, then I'll be able to sew along here and I'll have nice point in the middle where they all come together. Okay, so I'm sewing my little triangle pieces together and I just wanted to point out that sometimes in the center right here it can feel like it's really thick so if you just take it and undo my little thing, like the last stitch maybe two take out that last stitch maybe two and you can open it up like so and then when you press it open it just lays flatter so here's one that's done I cut it open I lay it out and I press it and it makes a cute little square in the center but it's less bulky right there so if you look at this one it's got several layers right there and it can feel kind of bulky but if you cut it open and press it like that one is then it doesn't feel as bulky when you go to put things together and when you go to quilt it. It might not feel um, quite as bulky. So there it is. Pressed open, pressed open, and then it can lay a little bit flatter when you go to do it. Okay, so now I have it all put together by rows. A row, a row, and a row. I'm trying to get the best angle. There we go, so you can see it. So now I'm just double checking everything to see that I have it in the right place before I go and sew it all together and um, get this block done. This is Elizabeth Townsend Guard from Just Want to Quilt. You've been listening to Gigi Bai take us through an aspect of the Gypsy Wife Quilt by Jen Kingwell. Make sure you get the pattern. You can get the pattern at Amazon or Uptown Needle and Craft Works here in New Orleans or at your local quilt shop. Um, you need the pattern to be able to understand what's going on. And then um, Gigi helps us through it. So join us. Come play with us. Come to our Facebook group, Just Want a Quilt. Uh, go to our website and be part of our newsletter where we'll help you through the Gypsy Wife Quilt. Um, that's JustWannaQuilt.com, spelled W-A-N-N-A, Just Wanna Quilt. Um, and of course, listen to our podcast. It's available on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, and if you can't a chance to like it on those, it would be super awesome. 